guys, it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations, and today I have another clean and quick card for you from my series. Today we are using lots of lavender, which is a celebration set. It is so pretty, and I have added a little bit of Wink of Stella to that lavender bunch there, just to give it a little sparkle. We've also added some of those beautiful glitter enamel dots in the green color, and I just think that it turned out super cute, so I can't wait to show you how I made it. Let's get started. I'm starting with a standard card base. This is a piece of Whisper White, cut in half at five and a half and scored in the middle at four and a quarter. So I'm just going to fold it over and give that score line a crease. For the main bunch of flowers, I'm going to use Wisteria Wonder, and then for the stems, I'm using Old Olive, and then for a little bit more texture and for the majority of the leaves of the lavender, we're using this Sweet Sugar Plum. So I'm going to get those ink pads open because we are going to use a few of them at the same time. So we've got our lavender and our Old Olive, and I have the stamp mounted here from our gorgeous lots of lavender stamp set this is the main image and then we have some beautiful pieces that you can use to watercolor in this main focal image or this image here so we're going to ink up a majority of this including the bow with that wisteria wonder so i'm inking up the entire thing except for the stems at the bottom so we're just going to get that nice and inky. And then I'm going to grab my old olive and ink up just the stems. I am going to bring in my stamp and pierce mat that I've covered with a piece of our grid paper so that using the photopolymer stamps I get a nice image. So I've inked up my stamp, I'm going to give it a huff and stamp that down. Then we're going to stamp it at a slight angle, kind of in the middle. While I still have my old olive out, I've mounted up the stem portion of the stamp. I've double mounted that with the bow. So we're going to go ahead and stamp those. So I'm going to stamp old olive on the stems and then stamp those right over the top. Just like that. And then I'm going to do the bow in our Wisteria Wonder. Now I'm going to use my Sweet Sugar Plum and I have that lovely watercolor look stamp for the bunch of the lavender. I'm going to ink that up and then I'm going to stamp it off once so that I get a light color underneath. So ink it up, we'll stamp that off on some scratch paper and then we will come over and stamp it right on top. I also have a lot of those little pieces that go along with this set. So I'm going to use those. Now, some of these are meant to be used on this image here for these little berry guys, but I'm also using it as an accent piece in my lavender here, just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension when I stamp this down in full ink. And it kind of just adds a few more petals and a little bit more interest. And we'll bring that old olive in again because I did forget while I had it out to stamp my leaves on the sides. So we're going to do that now. So I have this four petal leaf mounted up. Let's get him stamped down. And then the two petal leaf. We'll get him down right here. And the sentiment I'm going to stamp onto my project today is from Petal Palette. This is number one of two. There are two different cases for this stamp set. This one has a majority of all of the, the words in it, and it also has this fun polka dot border at the bottom. Today we're going to use Best Wishes. <coughs> 
So I have that double mounted on this block here and I'm gonna stamp that in Wisteria Wonder right next to my bunch. And now to add a few little touches, we're gonna take our clear Wink of Stella and we're just going to color in those darker petals that we stamped in our Sweet Sugar Plum earlier, just to give this a little bit of shine and shimmer. And we're also going to color in that bow And using our glitter enamel dots, we're going to take a few of those fun green pieces and we're just going to put a couple here and there. So we'll put one there. We'll take a lighter color, large one. We'll put that up here. And then the medium will go up in this corner over here. And there we go, creators. There is our clean and quick card in our series. I hope you enjoyed. This set is so beautiful. And as a celebration item, you can earn this for free. All you have to do is place a $50 order on my website. And you will qualify to get that for free from this celebration catalog. This catalog is good through March 31st. There are so many beautiful projects in here, along with other free goodies. Here is the Lots of Lavender right here, along with a few more samples of a, some fun things that you can do with that set. If you're not a fan of lavender, there are a ton of other things in here. These party pandas sure are cute, along with some envelopes and note cards. There's just a lot of really good fun stuff in here. If you haven't had a chance to take a look at that catalog yet, head over to my website, melissascreations.com. Click on catalogs and you'll be able to view a PDF file there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can be notified of future videos. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this card today. Again, you can get all the supplies on my website at melissascreations.com. Just click on the shop now link and use this month's current hostess code so that you can get a thank you from me for ordering next month. You can also follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mcreations and on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest with the handle at mcreations. I hope you guys enjoy today and have a wonderful week. See you soon. Bye.